Hi, I'm David Peterson. I recently illustrated an edition of Kenneth Graham's classic children's tale, The Wind in the Willows. And like I do with a lot of illustration projects to help me visualize the world, I relied a lot on reference models. Now, some of these I built from scratch, but not in every case. Uh, there's a dollhouse furniture store near me, and so I went there to visit and try to find some Victorian Edwardian era furniture that I could use as reference. Uh, I went there looking for a specific cupboard, which they didn't have in that instance, but I was able to pick up some other items that I thought were generic enough that I might be able to use them down the road. I got this cupboard. Uh, this is a kit. It came uh, as pieces and I had to assemble it. Uh, it's all plastic. I was able to use a stain that comes with the kit to try to uh, make it look more like wood grain. A set of chairs and a round table. Now, like I said, I had no specific purpose for these other than to have them on hand. And as I was illustrating the project, I found an instance where I really needed the interior of Rat's home uh, to be more fleshed out than I had planned on. So I was able to use these pieces and put together something. Now, the furniture doesn't make the room, so I had to make the room. And I made a room entirely out of chipboard, printed paper, and cardboard. On the outside of this room, if you look, it really is just chipboard. The brown stuff that is the back of sketchbooks, the back of Bristol pads, things like that. I have it taped together with painter's tape. Nothing fancy. I don't even think there's any glue holding this together. Uh, and then on the inside is sheets of printed paper. I did a design for a window and repeated it over and over. I put on a grid just to help me in case I needed any perspective uh, layout guides. The exposed beams are all corrugated cardboard and I cut out a oval pattern for a, uh, an oval mirror off to the side. I put the whole thing together, rearranging the furniture pieces, getting an idea of where everything should go, and, uh, and came up with a room that I liked for where Rat could sit, look out his window, watch the river pass by, uh, invite friends over for tea or for breakfast. Uh, or lunch, or any meal, really, or even to uh, to try to plan the taking back of Toad Hall. Now, it turns out the illustration where this is used, I didn't really have to have that much detail there, but it was nice to have a sense of what Rat's home looks like uh, in full. Uh, if I had to try to suggest that background and fake it without a better understanding of those pieces of furniture, I don't think that it would work as well, and I don't think it would really be honest to who I am as an illustrator. I wanted the details back there to feel real and believable and like a lived-in space. So that's it. Using some chipboard, some store-bought furniture pieces for a dollhouse, uh, some corrugated cardboard, some printer paper, and some glue, I was able to visualize a whole section of Rat's home and, uh, and make the background all the more believable. I hope you enjoy this video, I hope you enjoy the model, and I hope you enjoy Wind of the Willows. Thanks for watching.